So those are Velcro straps, is that right? Mm -hmm. And what do you do? I have to strap them on like this to keep it a little tight. So when I have it on, it can take my movement of my hand so it will go bend down. Okay. She was born with a condition called amniotic band syndrome and basically um, she was born with an under, underdeveloped left hand. Um, basically this process that we've gone through has been really wonderful just to be able to give her an opportunity of a hand. And that inner membrane rupture, it released fibroid band tissue. Right. And that tissue, um, it just kind of floats loosely within the waters of the uterus. Right. And that tissue actually wrapped around her left hand, okay. which cut off the blood circulation. How about that? So once it got, you know, it, it had begun developing, because if you let her take that off, well, I'll let her take that yeah. off so you can actually see her hand. Yeah. But it began developing, but once the bands got around it, it cut the circulation off. And once that circulation, blood circulation got cut off, the, it basically cut the development off. Okay. Okay. When I like to play on the monkey bar in summer, and I try to go, I try to go on each monkey bar till I go to the down other part. Right. But I just can't. I have to hook it on like this. Right. And it really hurts my wrist right. Well, my. Elbow right. Yeah. That would hurt me too. Yeah. Um, we're currently working hard to get it very functional for her to be able to use. Um, if we didn't have this opportunity, we probably wouldn't have been able to give her a gift of a hand financially from our standpoint as a family. But um, through the generous and caring people like Mr. Lance, Miss Walker, Miss Mole, and everybody who participated in this, we now have given my daughter a gift of a hand. How's your life different this past week? Uh, since I've been in my class, Miss Walford let me try to use, use some things to pick it up and she gave me like this snowball so when I throw it up I can catch it with with my two hands. A snowball? practice carrying her lunch tray with both hands now. Um, the music teacher is very excited that now she'll be able to play the xylophone and music. With the mallets. Um, mallets. With the mallets, yeah, that's what they're called. With the mallets. So we're seeing a lot of different things that she can do now. And why is that, why was that important to you? I mean, you have two hands. Why was it important for you to help Paris get a hand? Because she's my friend and I like helping my friend. She was working so hard at it. Right. Um, she yes, did, so yeah, she did get sore in the wrist. So I have to remind her, you That's know, right. to not. No, don't be so hard. The 3D printing has, is a new technology that a lot of people are using. Um, basically, Mr. Lance works at the Coca-Cola Space Science Center and they have a 3D printing machine there. And he's actually a volunteer of enabling the future diet board. So um, since he was making a hand for a young lady down in Florida, um, his son, Cliff, um, who's a classmate of Paris, told his dad about Paris. And um, Lance decided to take on Paris um, as a candidate to get this created for her. We are extremely excited. Um, she is she is so determined um, to get this hand functional so that she is able to grasp things. Right now, um, we are looking for a physical therapist that is open-minded and willing to learn about 3D printing robotic hands and actually assisting us in strengthening Paris' wrists and being able to make this hand completely functional. Oh, yay! And a stick. <laughs> Alyssa, right. well, can you put it on the table and pick it up with, with the mechanical hand? Can you try to pick it up? Let's put it on the edge to see if we can try to pick it up. Okay, there you go. Get it down as far as you can. That's okay. Well, we're so still practicing. Yeah. Fold the that will put it in your lap so you don't have to reach. There you go. Yeah, and pick it up. Pick it up this way. Or maybe it across the body. Try to do it this way. She's so 
And like I said, we're still Sorry. practicing. Yeah. And that's one thing, um, if I could. These two can be a part. Oh, <laughs> the